All right, so a lot of drama is going on in the Truxton Incel Army fighting within, fighting within the members, right? It figures. You always got some kind of problems with all these people with the, in the rats fighting each other, backstabbing each other, talking behind each other's backs, leaking things. So today I'm going to talk about the phone call that Chief Debo leaked of Albert Menendez talking about Darius Truxton and the army. And then also going to talk about uh, how that cock, Albert Menendez, deletes his video. I didn't even get to see it, Albert. You, you post a video on Chief Debo. I see it in my notifications. I go to click on it, and then it says removed by the owner. Yeah, good one, Albert. And then tomorrow or two days after, I'll talk about Cyan Regisol's rant on Darius Truxton. And then I'll talk about... Uh, the, the next day, I'll talk about Chief Debo's rant on Albert Menendez and whatever. Okay, so in the phone call that was leaked by Chief Debo, hey, how does that feel, Albert Menendez? Your buddy, Chief Debo, leaked a phone. He was privately recording you talking because he knew. He knew one day, right, that you would be a prick and you wouldn't own up to your own word. You wouldn't own up to your own word of talking back to Darius Truxton telling him what's what. Because you're a cuck, Albert. This is straight up. Straight up. It shows in that phone call that was leaked that you had feelings, you already knew that Darius Truxton was doing the wrong thing by ignoring his chat, is doing his stupid gameplay videos about games that no one even cares about. No, what person would actively go and use up their precious time to go over to a Darius Truxton live stream where you have some chinless queef who's chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle, smoke weed all day on his premium futon, playing video games, petting his, pat, his uh, cat, Brooke. Who would do that? Who would waste their time? Incels would, right? Rats would. A racist prick like Dave C would. A racist prick like Sierra Era would, right? So you are having doubts about Darius Truxton already, Albert Menendez, in that phone call that I heard. You're already, I don't know how long back that goes. You're talking about Luis Pereira in the phone call leak. So that must have been a while back when Luis Pereira was still active. That turnip head in the closet, cross-eyed loser doing stupid karaoke videos and twerk videos. He Louis Pura trying to impersonate me and then it makes a fool of himself by twerking on video. Yeah, nice one, Louis. Idiot. Albert, you said something interesting in that phone call to uh, that Chief Debo leaked. You said, you said, you're like, you know, these live streams that Darius is doing, these gameplay live streams and ignoring the chat, this is going to be his downfall, his undoing. That's what you said, right? Uh, let me correct you on that one, Albert Menendez. I was his undoing, right? You were his undoing, and Darius Truxton himself was his undoing. Why? Because remember when you guys had that little precious, vital moment where in my comment section making Amico videos, snakes versus rats, right? That's what was going on, correct? And then you guys had a decision to make. Should we just let it be? Because this is a fight that you guys started a long time ago and let's not involve Slotham in this? Or should we tell Slotham to do something about it or else? Right, that's what you said in your video. That was the moment, that was the undoing right there when I happened. When I actually came onto the scene and said, wait a minute, why am I gonna let some jobless loser, Darius Truxton, who has no girlfriend, no job, no car, no life, no social life, no friends, no family, and no money, why would I let someone like that tell me what to do? That was the precious moment. So and in, in reality, Albert Menendez, you were the undoing of uh, Darius Truxton. It was because of you. You didn't have to make that video uh, a message to slut him. You didn't have to make that video, right? You could have just been like, no, nah, you're going to stay out of it. Let DT handle it. That's what you could have done. And if DT was, was going to handle it himself, he probably would have just let it go too because he knew that he would get buried so hard by me. But you forced, uh, D Albert, you forced Darius Truxton into doing that. You, had, you gave him no choice. And then you were the downfall, Albert Menendez, of Darius Truxton. You were. You're the reason. And then when I started doing that, guess who else came onto the scene? Alt account one, right? And then alt account one, he heard that precious four numbers, didn't he? 2772. And then, then it went all downhill, right? Now we have a defeated, uh, defeated cuck loser, 
So Darius Truxton, every just some pathetic loser that can't even talk about anything. He can't even address anything anymore. That's how defeated he is. All he wants to do is quote, "I just want to move on. I just want to." Remember when Darius Truxton was crying in one of his live streams? He was saying to me, "Slotham, I just want to move on. I'm done." No, 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 no. Ain't gonna work like that. I ain't like your. I ain't like the people that you encountered in the past on YouTube, where they believe you once and you screw them over again. Believe you again, screw them over again. No, 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 no. That's not the way it works. All right. So yeah, Albert Menendez, if that's how you felt about Darius Truxton for a long time in that phone call that shows, why don't you actually come out and voice your opinion about it? Why are you scared and hiding like a little coward that you are? Why didn't you just come out and say something? You would have been much more respected if you have done that. But instead, you simped for some loser that wears double XL shirts that say property of the game chasers on it. You simped for some loser who simped for Ursha Gaming by proposing with Amiibo toys and gave 50 reasons why Ursha Gaming should marry a simp, Darius Queefy Elwood. Quivering Queef Smellwood, Queef. Queef, that's his name, Queef, as Alpha Nerd would say, Queef. It's so pathetic. See, I knew, I knew you guys had your little infighting going on, right? That's why I buried all of you guys. I knew you guys had your own problems. Well, you think I didn't know? You're not some indestructible group, Albert and Darius, your little rats community. Albert is now the new leader of the rats. He's the new commander and he still can't even do a good job. God, you're so pathetic. And then I see the notification that Albert Menendez uploaded a video on Chief Debo. I'm like, okay, let's see Albert's response. And then that cock, Albert Menendez, deletes his video. What did you say? Does anyone know? Did anyone watch that video and know what was said in that video? Because I don't. I would like to know. What, did uh, Chief Debo and uh, uh, Albert Menendez kiss and make up and now they're cool again? Is that, is that why Albert uh, deleted his video? Or was Albert so embarrassed about what he said he knew that I was going to read, listen to it and, and, and take it all apart and just completely own him in this video? Was that what's happened? What happened? Hey, Albert, what happened, Mr. Tough Guy, Mr. One Take? Oh, I thought you'd do all videos in one takes, huh? Isn't that what you said? One take, no edits, just you talking, you being real? You're not so real anymore. Because apparently you said something in that video that you don't want anyone to listen to. So pathetic. So you got a 44-year-old like loser, Albert Menendez. He has no homes, been divorced. His wife's taken all his money, half of his money plus more. This guy pays $500 in friggin' child support. Barely making ends meet. Trying to tell me what to do. Like, get the hell out of here. You don't know who you're dealing with. You don't know who you're dealing with or what you got yourself involved into. I ain't some friggin' generic cuck in the insul army that friggin' is just gonna listen to it. No, 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 you don't know what you're doing. And this is your downfall. Now you're gonna get humiliated over and over and over again in his shows. It shows your character, Albert. It's pathetic. So if, if, if Albert, if, so that, that phone call that Chief Debo leaked, of Albert Menendez. How many other things has Albert Menendez said on the side? How many other things has Albert Menendez said in his Twitter DMs with Dean TV, the failed wrestler, failed YouTuber, who's so sensitive that he has to copyright strike and privacy claim everything, that loser. And how many times have he said stuff to D Reed, the guy who wears a fitted cap inside his house 24 seven to hide his receding hairline from himself in the mirror because he doesn't even want to see it. How, how many things has Albert Menendez said behind Darius's back and Albert doesn't have a set of balls to just go to Darius and be like hey you're wrong here you're wrong here you're wrong here hey Darius I don't appreciate what you said here here and here hey Darius I, I don't appreciate the fact that you came back to YouTube after two months and blamed us for the reason you can't make videos because we're pay paying attention to Slotham I don't appreciate it here 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 how hard is that to do Albert be a man for once in your life I get it. You're you're a five foot two shrimp walking around with a face that looks like Nosferatu. I get it. Okay, but can you at least pretend to be a man? Can you really? Can you at least pretend to have an ounce of masculinity in you instead of trying to delete your videos every time you feel like you're gonna get called out? I thought you're Mr. Tough Guy. You're Mr. Go to Jail for two years. Tough Guy learned a lot about the streets. 
And the reality is you're the biggest cuck out of the whole incel army. It's pathetic. I can't handle it. I cannot understand this is what a 44-year-old man like you is. I can't understand it. So, Albert, you got a lot of explaining to do, huh? Don't you? You got a lot of explaining to do this weekend, don't you? You got Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You got today. You got a lot of explaining to do, but you know why? Because, you know, that loser, Quivering Queef Smellwood, Keith Elwood, Darius Truxton, the guy that has no life, you know he's going to be live streaming this weekend, right? And you know that's going to be the talk of the chat. Whether DT, Darius Truxton, likes it or not, in his live chat is going to be the discussion of your leaked phone call, Albert. How are you going to come back into, how are you going to show up in, uh, in a Darius Truxton's live stream today or tomorrow? What are you going to do? Because as soon as Darius Truxton sees the army saying something in the live chat, what's Darius Truxton going to think? Because you know he's listening to this, and you know he heard that leaked phone call that Debo leaked of you. What are you going to do now, huh, Albert? The whole world's crashing down. on In your real life, it's all going down, and on this YouTube social life, it's all going down. And you know what the funny thing is, Albert? You know what the funny thing is? You were your own downfall. You were your own downfall because you followed some loser, Darius Truxton, all the way to the end. Some loser, Darius Truxton. Why? Because he made some good e-begging videos in the past. Is that why you were so loyal to a chinless queef? Because he had some good e-begging videos and that was the whole thing. Like, oh yeah, e-begging. Go after e-beggars, right? You got a guy, Darius Truxton, that works at Dead End Jobs. You got a guy that got fired from Boston Pizza because he harassed workers by looking at the server's black leggings when he should have made pizza. You got a guy like that going after e-beggars. You got a guy like that who has nothing going on in his real life financially going after e-beggars. The funny thing is, is that Darius Truxton, the, ch the, the first chance he would get to get monetized and actually make uh, monetization videos off his rants, he would do it. He would do it in a second, but he got denied. His, his, his channel got denied when he tried to apply for it. Oh, I can't wait to see all the, the news that unfolds, right? Hey, hey, uh, hey, Albert, maybe you can go on Carl's stream, your new friend, and explain it there. Explain what happened. You know what you know, but you know what you're gonna do, Albert? I know. I know. Since you're such a loser and you're such a coward, what are you gonna say? You're gonna say, we don't talk about that, right? If that's your that's your that's your line when you don't when you're called on, you don't want to say anything, we don't talk about that. I know, I know, Albert. You're a cuck. Everyone listening to this knows you're a cuck. Darius Truxton, you're still a cuck. Darius Truxton, you're a loser that has nothing going on in his life and you made a big mistake trying to control my comment section and you're going to continue to get buried. This weekend is this fresh, fresh weekend. Video's coming up and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.